Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, I haven't really been super consistent here on YouTube, unfortunately. I just wanna let you guys know I'm going through it a bit. My mental health isn't great and um, yeah. So I've had no motivation to do anything online. That includes videos, posting on Instagram, anything. I was so ready to start 2020 with a bang. You know, it was gonna be my year. So far, it has not been my year. I have been hit with depression, the depression. I've just actually been at home with my parents, like at my parents' house where I grew up, uh, just trying to ground myself a bit, trying to surround myself with people who I know care about me and everything. So um, that's basically what I've been doing. But the good news, as you guys probably saw from the title of this video, I am getting a puppy. So my therapist really recommended that I get a dog for like therapy purposes. Um, but honestly, I've been thinking about getting a dog for a long time now. I've never owned a dog as an adult, so this is gonna be my first dog ever as an adult. He is, we are picking him up tomorrow and I am rehoming him. His current owner, he's still a puppy, he's still really young, but his current owner, I guess, got him for where, from wherever she got him and realized that she can't take care of him. So he's mine now. He just has no idea how much I love him already. I am so fucking excited. I'm gonna spend all my goddamn money on this fucking dog. But yeah, so I'm gonna make this little vlog about getting my little puppy. He is so fucking cute. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. He's really small. It was really important to me that I had a small dog because one, I live in a condo. So I mean, there are weight requirements on my dog. But two, I also wanted him to be small enough that I can travel with him on a plane. Cause you guys know I travel a lot back and forth. So he's very little. He is a toy poodle. So if you guys are familiar with toy poodles, they stay pretty small. I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna do a little dog haul i'm just so excited to love the fucking shit out of this dog this dog has no idea he has no idea what he's coming into okay he is going to be the most spoiled little brat so first and foremost um these are just like pee pads because he is a puppy and he is not completely potty trained so i'm gonna be training him by the way yes i did cut my own bangs i told you i told you i'm, I'm having a mental thing okay i thought it was a great idea and um my bad. I apologize. I know the lighting is pretty shit, but I don't have any lighting equipment. So and I'm going to try and get through this because does anyone actually care about my dog haul? Probably not. So first, I just got this little carry bag. Look how small it is. And he just can go in there. So this is for if I travel with him. It comes with a little bed. Next, I got him these little boots. They're like little Uggs. They say, <laughs> they say dog. By the way, I lost a nail, so... Oh my god, my bangs. But I got these little boots, so obviously there are four of them, and these are to protect his little feeties in the snow. Next is just this little jacket, so he can, you know, stay warm. A little tiny jacket. Just a doggy brush, a little bag, so I, if when he shits, I can pick it up. These little sock monkey socks. I tried to not be absolutely outrageous to begin, because he's gonna grow, but he's gonna be very spoiled, so... <laughs> If you don't want to see a spoiled dog, this is not for you because he's going to be spoiled. I got him this little harness um, since he's so small right now because he's a puppy and he's like a toy poodle. As I said, this is actually a kitten harness. <laughs> when you have really small dogs, it's better to not like leash them from their, you know, their neck because they can easily snap their neck, which is morbid. And I don't want that to happen. I want him to be very healthy and safe. So I got him this little kitten harness with a little leash and then just this little sweater. And then we go over here and this is where his little pen is. So this is currently his little pen, so um, instead of like a, ugh, it's a fucking mess, but instead of like, what's that called? Like a metal cage, I just got him a little pen. So he has his nice comfy bed. I got him two little dinosaurs, little treaties so we can play tug of war. Uh, I got him this little blue blanket, which I'm probably gonna bring with me tomorrow. And then I got him his little food dishes. This one says thirsty. And this one says feed me. But yeah, I have his name and everything, but I'm gonna wait until I have him tomorrow to let you know what his name is. Just so you know, I might have nerded out a bit. Okay. But yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow when we are on our way to pick up the puppy. It's puppy day. I have my little bag all ready. I gotta put this on, but got some treats, some blankets, some toys. And we're leaving in about 15 minutes. It is a mild minus 20 degrees outside today. <laughs>
dinosaur. I'm gonna get you some water, okay? Hi guys, so as you briefly saw, we have picked up the puppy. This is the look I've been rocking for the past few weeks. Uh, and it's uh, as good as it's gonna get, so sorry about that. So you saw the little puppy and you probably heard me say his name a few times. So his name is Leo and look at him. He's sleeping right beside me. <laughs> and the inspiration for his name Leo is after King Leonidas of Sparta. I expect no judgment in the comments. I really, really like Greek history. So that's what he's named after. Obviously, he's just going to go by Leo or King Leo. But when he's in trouble, he's going to be Leonidas. So he better watch his, he better watch his back. We had the shortest time. You had to go, but I'm just so happy I had you. The morning's near oh. still. Oh, Yeah, guys, so I just tried to bring him out. As you just saw, he was shivering within like 15 seconds. So I was like, no, I'm not subjecting my poor little angel to that. But he's all warm now in bed. Got his blanket, don't ya? Guys, I am so proud of him. I put out a pee pad and he instantly knew to pee on it. Now he's eating his treat. It takes him a while because his teeth are so little. I've been breaking his treats into like tiny little things because they're like the milk bones or whatever, but that is way too big for him. So, Leo. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy, Leo. You're awake now, aren't you? Yeah. I am so in love with this dog. He is so sweet. He's giving me kisses. He loves me. Do you love me? I love you. Do you love me? Oh my God. I feel so loved. And now he's kissing his dick. <laughs> my glasses aren't a toy. He loves my rings. Ow! You're biting me! Ah! <laughs> Trying to get a thumbnail, mister. You just bite me? <laughs> His favorite toy, my hair. Okay guys, I just wanted to let you know that he is sleeping some more. We had a little bit of a playtime, but he's a puppy, so he needs lots of sleep. I am trying to get this video up tomorrow, so today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday when this video is going to be uploaded, so I'll only have him for a day, but um, I really want to get that edited and up, so I am going to go, but um, I will definitely give you guys updates on him as he grows up through vlogs, through all that fun stuff. And if you are interested in following him, we have made him an Instagram account, of course. Because I'm already fucking obsessed. Like, when I say obsessed, it's disgusting. I would die for this dog. And I'm gonna wanna post 8,000 billion pictures and I can't do that on Jordan Shrinks or really more Jordo. So I just created him his dog account so no one can be mad. Because if you don't wanna see dog pics, don't follow a dog account, okay? <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching our little adventure as we picked up baby Leo. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Say goodbye. I wish. I wish I knew.